Hi everyone, welcome to the final video, step 9 of the cheat engine tutorial. This one here we have four players with health of, our two players are health 100, 100, our two computers have 500 each. This one here, what we want to do is modify the instruction that lowers the health so that it only lowers the enemies or increases ours or essentially something that makes it so we can't die. First thing we need to do is search for our health. And this here is nice, it tells us it's a float. So you search for float, 100, get hit, 94, so that would be your player one. This one here, 94 now. Lower it just to make sure, yeah, so this here, 91. So that's our player two. Our computers have 500, so same as normal, normal scans. So this would be computer 1 and computer 2. Perfect. Okay, now we have a couple choices here. A good way to start is just find out what writes these addresses. Attack, attack. Okay, I guess I shouldn't have restarted. Redo those scans quickly. Okay, computer one and two. Okay, that's player one, player two, perfect. Okay, so now with player one, we will find out what accesses this address. Take some damage, and it'll likely either be a subtract or a move that we're looking for. I think it's this one here. Now we can show it in the disassembler here. Right click and find out what addresses this instruction accesses. So this will keep track of every time that executes what address it accesses, and you can see it accesses all four players, which means that we can't just knop it out or anything, because then the computers also won't take any damage. Knop being a no operation stops the instruction from doing anything. So our next best bet, we can show it in the disassembler again, and go back into here, do our auto assemble code injection template. So what we need to do is figure out a way to only damage our player, sorry, the computers, and not damage our players. So to do that, we need to find a difference within the structures of the computer or the players. So we can open up this dissect data or structures. Right over there. Copy these four addresses in. Just control A to add new address. Structure, define a new structure, we call it entity. Yeah, let it fill everything in. So now these first two are computers and sorry, these first two. The second two are both players. We need to find something that's the same for the computers and the same for the players, but different between the computers and players. So this here is not, looks like it's just the health. This here is also not, this one isn't. This one here, 2211, it looks like it is different. Is different. And the other couple are not either. So we know it's our health, being this float, and it's that plus 4, 8, C. And our initial code access is at, at EBX plus 04, so the health is actually the second item within the structure. 
So we're actually going to want to move, or when we do our comparison, we need to compare with 0c plus 0, 04, which is 10. Alright, so yeah, back over this auto assembler, we can quickly, we'll, we'll have to add a label. It's kind of like a function. Do player. Original code is there. Okay. We need to add our player. So what we want to do is when the code is called, it'll call new memory. And we need to do a comparison, see if it's a if it's editing our player or the computer and either jump to player first or just jump straight to original code. So this is fairly easy to do. We can grab compare ebx plus 0, 04, no, plus, what is it, 0c plus 10. With, we want to, so for our player is 1. Let's compare it with 1. And if they're equal, so if it is our player, we want to jump to player. Uh, if they are not equal, we want to jump straight to original code. Oops. Original code for player. We want to move call it 500, oops, move 500 into the register EAX. With move it's always a, its destination then source, so we want to make sure EAX is first, otherwise that will not work. And then after this we can just jump to original code. So now what this does is every time the instruction is called to deal damage, it jumps to here first, checks if our EBX plus 10, which is what we decided determines the two structures apart from each other. If it's equal to 1, so if it's a player, it'll jump over to player and put 500 in EAX. If it's not, it just jumps straight to original code. And Now here we can see it moves EAX into EBX plus 4. So now it'll be, if it's a player, it'll move this 500 right into there. And then it'll finish everything up. So assuming I didn't screw anything up too bad, Now we can play our game. And did something a little different than what I was expecting, but it seems to be working. So we can hit restart game and autoplay. See our player's health stayed the same and immediately kill our two computers. Stuff like this is good for games where well, like shown there, it's all shared code and you have to determine who you're dealing damage to before you know if you want to deal damage to it. Yeah, that's pretty much it.